Hi everyone, welcome to the Similar Web live training webinar. My name is Becca and I work on Similar Web's customer care team. Today we're going to have a 15 minute session where we'll be going over the product and the amazing things you can do with it. We will have a brief Q&A at the end. Feel free to submit questions throughout the webinar via the chat box. So everyone here today has registered for our free demo where you have full access to the Similar Web Pro platform, limited to five results per metric. In order to access your free demo, please go to SimilarWeb.com and click on the orange Go To Pro button on the top right. Please note that the Pro URL is different than the free site. SimilarWeb provides competitive and market intelligence for businesses to discover new opportunities, strategically decide on the best plan for implementation, and effectively deploy their digital strategies for immediate and impactful results. Our global cross-device solution helps you to solve the biggest blind spot in the digital world, understanding what your competitors are doing. But also in today's digital ecosystem, understanding what your clients are doing, what your suppliers are doing, and more. As you can see here, the Similar Web Pro platform has several modules. You can analyze every website, every app, and every industry all over the world. Today, we will be going over the website analysis module with a live analysis of Target.com. We can use the search bar on the top of the page to type in Target. We see many results, including both apps and websites, and we'll select the Target website. Now let's look over at the sidebar. This is where you can navigate within website analysis. This can provide logical steps for doing your analysis, from looking at the audience, to where the traffic is coming from, where it's going, etc. So let's start analyzing target.com and set up our parameters. On the top, we have a time range filter. The last 28 days filter allows you to track recent spikes in traffic to analyze the trends of your competitors. It's updated daily, showing data up to 48 hours prior to the current date. We also have one or three month views and custom date range. Three months is a good time frame to select in order to see trends. To see trends over an even longer period of time, sign up to the Pro to get up to 36 months of data. For now, let's use a three month view. We also have a country filter. In your demo account, you'll see worldwide data. But bear in mind that we have more than 50 country filters for websites and apps, which can help you compare site traffic in different markets. All websites analyzed in demo mode includes traffic for the main domain and all subdomains, which can be seen by this filter. So right now we're looking at the visits to the site and currently we are on the all traffic view, meaning it's desktop and mobile web traffic combined. The share of searches from mobile web has grown in some industries to over 50%, especially in the e-commerce industry. So when analyzing a site, Looking at desktop only data is missing half of the picture. Let's look at the traffic share section. This shows us the desktop versus mobile breakdown. And here we can see that 58% of traffic to the site comes from mobile web. Looking here is important if you want to understand who's my audience? Where should I advertise? Am I doing SEO for mobile or desktop, etc. So now that we've looked at single site mode, Let's make things more interesting by broadening our view and adding competitors to the analysis. Here is where you can add up to five competitors. Once you start comparing, things start getting interesting. You can benchmark yourself against your competitors and learn how they succeed in their marketing strategies. So let's add Walmart.com as a competitor. So the first place I look is the total visit section to see the difference in traffic between the two sites and I can see that the difference here is really big. We can also look at the traffic share section to see the desktop versus mobile breakdown. And the two sites are pretty similar here, about a 40-60 split between desktop and mobile. Even though Walmart is the obvious leader traffic wise in terms of volume of visits to the site, visits aren't the full picture. So let's try to understand the quality of the traffic by looking at the engagement section. Engagement is very important for the e-commerce industry because the better the engagement, the higher conversion rate you can expect. 
So first what we see here is the visits over the selected time frame and the actual total visits numbers are at the top. Let's look at the average visit duration. We see here that the two sites are neck and neck, which tells us that users spend a similar amount of time on both sites. In the e-commerce industry, the goal is to increase the visit duration for their visitors and encourage them to visit more pages on the site. So let's check the Pages per Visit tab. And what we can see here is that even though Walmart is the obvious leader traffic-wise, users actually view more pages on Target's website than on Walmart's. Now let's check the traffic sources by clicking on the sidebar. This section helps us understand the various traffic channels that send traffic to the analyzed domains to start uncovering the marketing strategies behind the sites. We can understand where each site is putting their efforts and where there's potential for growth. Here again, Target is in blue and Walmart is in pink. The first thing I notice is that they're both very strong and direct, but Target gets a larger share of their traffic from direct than Walmart does. When we look at direct, it's a strong indicator of brand recognition because the users entered the URL directly into their browser or used bookmarks. Meanwhile, in search, we can see the traffic share from both organic and paid search. In organic search, which they both rely on heavily, Walmart has a larger share of traffic. It would be very interesting for Target to analyze Walmart's keywords and better understand their SEO strategy. In addition to organic search, we see the page search traffic share. This is a great place to monitor where companies are spending their advertising dollars and which keywords are generating the most visits to the site. At a glance, we can already see that there are three channels, mail, social, and display, which both competitors aren't using on as large of a scale. It would be interesting to find out if there are any hidden growth opportunities or if those channels just don't work for them. When looking at referrals, we see that this is an important channel for both sites around 12 and 11 percent of the traffic to each site. We can dig deeper into referrals by clicking on the sidebar, but we can also just click here. So let's dive deeper and see what we can find out. Referrals are the domains which link to the analyzed sites. Here we can find all sorts of business partnerships, such as affiliate deals, good PR, influencer marketing campaigns, content marketing campaigns, and much more. Let's look at the category distribution section. Just as a quick overview, we can look here to see which categories are driving the most traffic to each site. And what I notice is that coupons is a really good referral. Let's look at the actual referrals. Here is where we can see the competition. They both receive referral traffic from the same sites. The number one referrer is slickdeals.com. And this site sends 20% of total referring traffic to these sites, and 71% of that traffic goes to walmart.com. Even if we scroll down past the results we can see in the free demo, you can already see the competition. Walmart in pink is winning for most of the referrals. This is a great place to find new affiliates and new partnerships. As you go down the list, you'll find more and more surprising referrals. Of course, in our various packages, you can see more than five results. On our paid plans, we also provide the option to download all of this data directly to Excel, making it easier for you to analyze this data. You'll find the Excel download button for every results list in Similar Web Pro. Next, let's dive a bit deeper into search. Remember, search is a very strong channel for both websites, so this should be interesting. Here, we're able to actually see which keywords are driving traffic to the analyzed domains and a share of traffic as well. The icing on the cake is that you can see the Google non-provided keywords. Here, you can learn what organic and paid keywords you should focus on and how you can optimize your position. Let's look at these pie charts. It's interesting to see that the organic versus paid split between the two, for the two sites are basically around 80-20, so they're very similar. Now, let's look at Walmart's search terms. Here, we see the top keywords sorted by traffic share. On the left column, we see the search terms. We can also see that overall, we provide data for over 40,000 search terms total. 
The amount of keywords you can access depends on the package type. The traffic share column shows us the share of visits the site received from each keyword out of all search traffic. We can see the trends for each keyword in the change column, which can help you find new, trending, cheap keywords. Just an inside tip, anytime you're unsure about something you see, hover over one of the columns to see a brief explanation. Now let's look at the actual results. What I notice is results number three and five are both misspellings of Walmart. The first has two L's and the second has a space. So if we look over at the organic first paid column, we can see that Walmart is actually paying for about 14% of the traffic they receive from each of these keywords. Number four is also interesting, Walmart photo. This keyword is driving a lot of traffic to the site. So this starts to give us a good understanding of the SEO and PPC strategy. It shows us what people are interested in within the Walmart brand. That's why these keywords can also be a great resource for content marketing and blog post ideas. While you're here, make sure to check the popular words within search terms tab. Also, try playing around with the time frame filter to discover even more keywords. Just from everything we've seen so far in search, you can generate some great insights about your competitor's search engine marketing strategy. Lastly, I want to show you that you can save any analysis by clicking on the Save button. You can easily revisit this page in the future by clicking on the star icon on the top bar. So now that we've looked deeply into an analysis, we can keep monitoring the KPIs that we're interested in by adding it to a custom dashboard. So let's make one now. First, we'll click the Add Widget button, and we'll type in Target.com. Now, let's add Walmart as a competitor. So we can pick our metric, and today let's pick top non-branded keywords. And we'll be viewing this data worldwide over the last three months. And then we hit the Create button. So now we have this widget, it's here every time we log in, and it will be the most up-to-date data. So let's see what we discovered in only 15 minutes. We learned that the strongest traffic driving sources for Target and Walmart are direct and search channels. We discovered that two spelling mistakes are two of the highest driving keywords to Walmart and our strong keywords, which they rank organically and also spend PPC budget on. We learned that coupon sites are most of the referrals to these two sites. SimilarWeb is a very broad product, which can answer questions like, how do I discover up-and-coming players in my market? Which keywords are driving the most traffic to my competitors? And how do I discover new traffic acquisition channels? Now we'll have a brief Q&A. Now is a great time to, answer any, to enter any questions you may have. All right, um, so Erica just submitted a question. Her question is, the data you show looks really useful, but what about demographics? Other than keywords, what information can the tool show me to help create relevant ad campaigns for my target audience or increase conversions on my store's site? Thanks, Erica. I'm really glad you asked this question. It actually speaks to some of the really unique strengths of the similar web platform. Demographics can provide some interesting information about your online customers, but as a business, what you really want to understand is user behavior, regardless of the age, gender, or whatever else. So one example of this is that similar web can help you create campaigns relevant to your audience's true interests, not just what we assume their interests could or should be. So we can actually see this on SimilarWeb by going to the audience interest section. So let's do this for Target. So when you're in the audience interest section, what you see are the sites that users visited in the same session as they visited Target.com. And what's interesting is that these users visited the site via direct methods. This means, as I mentioned before, that they typed the URL directly into their browser or used bookmarks. So one interesting result here is result number two, and that's ToysRUs.com. 
So this shows us that users who visit Target.com are also interested in toys and products for children. So if I was Target's competitor, maybe I'd consider featuring children's toys on my homepage. To me, this seems like a far more, more actionable insight than knowing whether the shopper is 25 or 55. I also noticed uh, result number four, which is a wedding website, the not.com. So if my website was Target.com, I might want to research if wedding websites could be new advertising niche for me. Okay, so that's all of our questions for today. Um, if you do have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, on SimilarWeb, you'll find a small chat icon, and we'll be there to answer your questions. So thanks to everyone today for participating, and we look forward to hearing about your experience with SimilarWeb.